Hey everyone, it's Karen from Makeup and Beauty Blog. Today I'm going to walk you through this rockin' red carpet makeup look. I've got a purple smoked out lower lash line, hot pink lips, softly defined lids, and light pink cheeks with a full yet natural looking brow. Let's go ahead and get started. We want our makeup to last, so skin prep is everything. I just washed my face, and now I'm going to um, do a little bit more prep by applying a moisturizer <clears throat> and an additional intensive treatment by Olay. So Ovs, the paparazzi, will be following us when we're out and about, so we're gonna get the skin camera ready with a full coverage matte foundation. I'm also going in with a little bit of a heavier hand than usual because with red carpet makeup you kind of have to anticipate the flash sort of washing everything out. So you can put a teeny tiny bit more makeup than you would like say if you're going to the uh, grocery store to get cat food for your feline employer. While we're at it, I'm going to cover up my dark circles because, quite frankly, I'm tired of looking at them. Sorry if my voice sounds a little funny. It sounds, it's like more cartoony than usual, I guess. I have a little bit of a cold that I'm working through. I'm also going to curl my lashes. I like to do this early on because um, it drives me kind of batty when my lash curler lifts off my liner. This look has two main focal points, a very bright purple lower lash line and a bold hot pink lip. So I feel like a brow that's full yet natural looking will be a nice compliment to those things. Anything more um, with like a sharp tail or super bold brows might be a little too much. So I'm gonna go with a powder brow um, a brow powder and I'm just gonna apply it to my brows and then comb it through with a lash comb <laughs> with a brow comb this eye look is all about the purple on the lower lash line so I'm gonna keep what's on my lids pretty simple just a sweep of um, this satiny brown taupe into the crease just to add a little bit of definition. Nothing too complicated. I chose this shade because of the satin finish. It's slightly easier to blend than a matte. I also like that the color is more of a cool tone which I think will complement the purple on the lower lash line and the hot pink lip nicely. For red carpet makeup, I think that it helps to sort of think about where you're going to apply the shimmer on your face just because with the flash, um, it can really pick up on those shimmery spots and make you look a little disco ball shiny, which is fine if that's the look which <laughs> if that's the look that you're going for. But for this look, I'm going to be very careful and deliberate where I place the shimmer. So I'm going to take this shimmery beige and apply that onto my lids. What I'm doing here is giving a little bit of a contrast to that satiny brown that I just applied in the crease. I'm going to carefully blend out the edges with a blending brush. Gotta have lots of bad girl black liner for a rockin' red carpet look. So I'm gonna pile that ish on. I'm going to put this all on my upper and lower lash lines and into the water lines, and then I'm gonna smudge it out. Honestly, is there any cute way to do this? I don't even know. Half the time, I'm like trying to keep my mouth closed because usually this is what I wanna do. So not cute. Don't worry if a little bit drops down into the lower lash line because we're just gonna end up smudging that later. No worries. Now we're gonna soften that upper lash line with a dark black eyeshadow.
I'm doing this because I don't want that upper lash line to appear too harsh and also with the purple on the lower lash line um, I think that it might look a little unbalanced if I don't have anything up there plus this helps my lash lashes look thicker and I need all the help I can get in that department I'm also going to smudge that lower lash line just so that the purple that I'm about to apply on it has a nice base. This will bring out the richness of the colors. Doing this also adds an element of smokiness to the look. You know I love my smoky eyes. So now for the fun part, the pop of purple. I'm going to be mixing these two shades here with a wet flat eyeliner brush and applying them to my lower lash line. Now you can take this as far down as you want. I feel like I'm gonna drag mine kind of low just because um, it makes it look a little bit more messy and kind of more rock and roll and that's the look that we're going for. But if you're not comfortable taking that, col that color all the way down, you can keep it nice and tight, close to the lash line. When that shadow is fully dried down, smudge out the edges with a pencil brush. So I've got the lower lash line nice and smoky and diffused, and I'm feeling that I need a little bit more brightening in the inner corner, so I'm going to take this shimmery beige that I used earlier on my lid and apply that just very lightly to the inner corner, just to brighten up the eyes a bit. Oh, it's like night and day. Next, I'm gonna load up those lashes with layers upon layers upon layers of mascara. I really want to get to the lips, so I'm going to just charge through the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter. I'm going for hot pink lips with lots of shine and sparkle. So first I'm going to line my lips with a pink liner and fill them in with the same pink liner. I'm going for hot pink lips with a little bit of a gradient that goes from hot pink on the outer edges to like a lighter pink in the center. So next I'm going to apply a lighter pink liquid lipstick into the center of my lips. I'm blending everything together with a lip brush because I want that gradient to be very soft and super subtle. Lastly, to finish the lips, I'm going to add some sparkle and shine with a glittery lip gloss placed in the center of the lip. This one has a little bit of a blue-green reflect in it. It's super pretty, kind of different. Very rock and roll. And here's the final rock and red carpet makeup look. I've got a pop of color along the lower lash line with the purple and a bright hot pink lip. Um, also pink cheeks and a little bit of definition on the lids and a full yet natural looking brow. I hope that you enjoyed watching this tutorial. I had a lot of fun making it and I will see you on the red carpet very soon. Bye!